Okay, this is the game is out 100 here with the video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bears using their last draft pick that they acquired from the Denver Broncos in the seventh round to draft offensive tackle Charles Leto Jr. from Boise State. Um, I figured Phil Henry was going to draft another offensive lineman in this draft uh, to add more depth uh, in the, for the offensive line. Um, he's going to probably will be uh, going to be probably be uh, maybe be in contention with Jordan Mills. Even though Jordan Mills had a, had a good season last year, he probably might be uh, behind him on the depth chart. Uh, basically, the the analysis for this guy is the is the outstanding arm length, solid base and pass protection. It can bump, steer, and mirror. Understands fit and precision. He can't work up to second level with ease. Flashes pop in his punch. Very durable. Experienced three year starter. The weakness lacks substance and pass protection and can be moved off the spot and walked back to quarterback. Uh, tends to bend at the waist, overextend and losing position, average recovery speed, carries his hands too low and does not uh, shoot them with violence, is stressed by speed and struggles to cut off the rush, does not play strong and catches too much. Um, it's basically said the bottom line is a long arm, soft body, college left tackle, most ideally suited as a role. As the first of all, swing back up in his zone blocky schemes. Has not learned how to translate his athletic <coughs> ability and explosion to the field. Yet possesses enough length, agility, untapped talent to find a role for a padded offensive line coach. Could have worn interest inside as guard or center where he has help on each side. Similar to Packers offensive tackle Marshall Newhouse. So there you go. I figured the Bears was going to be drafted an offensive lineman very late in the draft. The Bears did that. And uh, now everyone can get off the Bears' bats for uh, finally draped in a safety in the, in the third day. And uh, they were saying, oh, we need a safety in the first round. We need a safety. Oh, this should get a safety in the second round. At least get one in the third round. you got to look at the draft from Phil Emery's standpoint. And that is he went to take the best player available at the position to fill what he needs to do for the team. I was surprised that they drafted a corner, but if he was high on the Bears radar, to if he was the top defensive back on the board, the Bears would take him. So, while the Bears finally drafted a safety in this draft, that's all good. Now they could uh, shut up the fans a little bit for them not drafting a safety. They addressed the safety. They moved up in the fourth round to get this guy. So they must be very high on him if they wanted to move up in the draft to to uh, draft him. So, anyways, uh, that is it for the uh, NFL draft for uh, 2014. The Bears decided to go with, uh, they had seven pits in this draft. Uh, they had four defensive. And uh, they, uh, they drafted a halfback, a quarterback, a punter, and an offense. I think they had eight pits, I think. I think they had like eight pits. So the Bears did uh, decent in this draft. That They drafted a quarterback to learn under Mark Tresman. They drafted a halfback because we know we got to have someone to back up Matt Forte. They decided to do that. They drafted a punter. Um, to be Adam Polish's uh, replacement. So he's going to be competing with uh, Drew Butler in training camp for that. But overall, I'd say the Bears did have a decent draft this year. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the, in the preseason and uh, training camp and see how these uh, players are going to progress. This is the Game is on 100. I am out later.